Go on. Ten seconds to impact. Go on, right in the middle. Go on, do it right in the middle. Go on. Go on. Go on. Oh, oh yes. See ya. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back. War has begun in 1939. Germany have invaded Poland and the U4 has been sent out to go and do some patrolling to make sure nothing is out of the ordinary. Let's get into it. Okay, so basically what I've done so far is I've set ourselves up. We've got our U-boat set up. We've got the crew set up. If you want to know about the crew, go to the card at the above um, and that'll show you exactly how to use the crew on expert difficulty. Um, I've kind of restocked everything and we're ready to go. So I'm going to start traveling now. We've got no time to waste. We've been given some orders to go patrol in the North Sea. So we're going to go and see what is going on. Currently, we're not at war with anyone apart from Poland and they're not going to be any Polish ships out here but it's always good to have a good little bit of training to make sure we're ready for if anything happens. Um, and we're not fully expecting uh, England and France to join the war, but there's always that option that that might happen. So let's see. So let's head out and I will probably catch you up when we get to the patrol zone. Okay, welcome back. So what I've done in this, in this career that we're gonna do is I've actually set a couple of things slightly lower than 100%. First of all is this, I want to be able to, and you know this might sound like cheating, but I want to make it so that I can actually see the ships because I want to simulate that this is what I'm seeing if I'm playing as my character. This is our view, this is what we can see. So if a ship comes into this zone, we, want, we, we should be able to see it, right? Um, and 100% it can get a little bit annoying sometimes when you can't see anything at all. Um, and it can be a bit frustrating and I kind of just want to play the game. You know what I mean? Um, the second thing is periscope stabilization. I've kind of disabled that. I mean, enabled that as well, because again, if the weather's quite choppy, yeah, I get that you probably wouldn't have the best angle, but again, it's a game and I just want to play. So let's do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to travel these 369 kilometers into the patrol zone. We're going to do like a, uh, most shipping is going to go from like Bergen down here like this. So we kind of want to stick ourselves in this range here somewhere. So I'm going to do like a, a patrol zone around here. Um, and then if we can't find anything in this patrol zone, we'll expand out. And then if we can't find anything here, we'll expand out, that sort of thing. So this is where we're going to aim for. And then we're going to head over there. So I'm going to quickly run over there and I'll be back when we get to that patrol zone. All right. So we're now in the patrol zone. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up our initial course. So it's going to be, uh, press shift my help. I always end up pressing tab by accident. So that's going to be our initial course. We're going to kind of cover that. Um, and what we're going to do is, well, first of all, we're going to send off that um, report to say that we were in the patrol zone. Um, we're going to sit on dive schedule. Again, if you don't know how to use the dive schedule, then please um, watch my video that I linked in the cards at the start of the video. Um, that will show you exactly how to use the, the crew for the dive schedules. So I'm going to head over there now. I'm going to stick it on dive schedule now because we might find something on our way. Um, we're going to put it on 1800 speed and we'll see what we can find. And if we find a um, contact, then I'll show you exactly how to intercept with um, the ships. Okay, so here we go. So we've been given a radio transmission and the radio transmission said that there's bearing 181, there's an, uh, 80 kilometers away, there's a ship at high speed. Now, I, I don't know if there's a way of turning this bit off because I, 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 I want this, but I don't want that. I don't want this rig curve, which is fine because obviously this is what would happen in real life. There'd be a directional finder from a hydrophone and it would give you kind of the idea of the direction of where the ship's coming from. But it, I kind of like to do it manually, but here we go. I can't, I can't do it. So I could now control and right click this and it would take me exactly to this course. And I don't want to do that as such. Um, but we know that there's a one, there's a ship in AN555. I know that because I've seen the radio transmission. Um, and this is AN511. This is 554. So 555 must be over here somewhere. This is where they have received the radio transmission. So again, I'm going to go over to the journal and I'm just going to show you it manually. So we've got AN555 medium speed eastern course. So this is a ship that's going this way. Um, but you can see that they're, that they're giving you and me a ship going a different way, which is very odd. So I'm going to ignore that contact and we're going to go for um, a periscope contact if we find one. So let's carry on going. Okay, so we've been given a new one, which is AN466, course 272, medium speed. So what we can do is we can, again, ignore this. So it was AN, sorry, I forgot the number again now, uh, 466. 
So it's over here. We're looking and we're tracking it. So this is AM466, this, uh, this square here. So we can put this in here. Okay, that's our, uh, where our target should be. And he's traveling at a course of 272. So we know that they're going 272 from their course with this bearing. Um, so 272 is over here. So they're going in this direction. So we know that they're kind of over here. So we can get rid of that. They're, they're over here somewhere probably. Um, again, that's all we have for information right now. So they're going medium speed. So they're probably going about 10 to 15 knots on, on my game for some reason. I don't know why it's a lot faster. Um, so course 272 medium speed. So they're going, uh, like I said, 10 knots. Um, so if we were to work that out, 10 knots is, is there. Um, I need to use the other one actually. So let's just say, let's say they're in the middle here. Okay. So let's say this is the middle. They're going 272. Uh, like, let's put that there. That's about right. They're going about uh, 10 knots, I reckon. And our top speed at flank uh, surfaced is about 26. So I know that we can probably, probably 24 is probably about more realistic. Um, so again, I need to delete that because I've done that wrong as well. Um, I need to do it from the marker. So there we go. That's 20, 24 knots. So that's that's where the kind of speed differences are so this is how we calculate the bearing so we click this we go directly to the target so 219 kilometers and then 219 kilometers where do we intercept is here so we go to the interception here oops wrong one i need the protractor tool so interception is here and then what's the range to their speed there so it's 21.2 degrees so we would need to travel 21.2 degrees in order to intercept. So what's 21.2? It's something like, something like this. We would have to travel like, I'm trying to get 21. So that's about 21 degrees. They're traveling like this. There we go. So we would intercept around about here. Now, that's quite a distance for us to travel to intercept. Um, and we have not got much knowledge of whether this is a correct, um, ship or not. And we haven't got the right speeds or anything like that. So this is going to be a bit much of a guess, but we know there is a ship this way, but it is, you see high move, high speed moving away. Um, so we're probably not going to intercept here. We're probably going to miss them. Um, so I'm probably going to miss this. I'm probably going to skip this and go for something else because this is, I probably would say they're going probably either to Edinburgh or to Hartlepool um, and we're not going to catch them, I don't think. So I think we, we can we can ignore this for now. So again, it's kind of a false, but there's the idea of how we would intercept. So that's the intercept path. So we're going to skip that and we're going to carry on our journey. We're going to see what else we can find. We'll find something a bit closer, which will be nice. Okay, so we've got ourselves a propeller. So what we do is we're going to pause this now. We're going to go to 30 meters or thereabouts. So we actually get this target again. So we've lost the target again because we've come to the surface. Um, but we'll go back down. We'll catch that propeller and we'll find out what's going on. So here we go. Um, so at 30 meters, the propeller is at 258. Again, I'm getting this annoying little thing, but it is fine. Um, so we know it's in two, it's 258 from our ship. So we're going to go U-boat. We're going to put our relative course, which is this. And then we're going to come in here and we're going to find out where 258 is. So obviously it's already done that for us, um, but it's fine. So we'll go 258. So it's here. 30 meters. And we know it's between 30 and 50 kilometers based on what our radio guys told us. So we're probably looking at exactly where obviously it's telling us it is. Um, and it's closing in. So actually we can probably set ourselves up for a really good attack here. So we know it's closing in. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put stop order and I'm going to watch where it goes and see kind of where its course is coming um, and see, hopefully we'll get some, we'll get a good target. So currently we know it's there um, and let's see where it goes in the next few minutes. So let's go till 750. 
Right, we've still got the periscope obviously on the target, um, but it's still 252, so we know that it's now, because we've drifted slightly, um, 252, so it is now, yeah, so it's still here. Um, where is the distance? Let's have a seat. That still stays 50. So it's it's coming towards us, so it's not moving, but it's going on this track. So what we need to do is get ourselves set up for a perpendicular attack. So if it's coming up from this position, we know it's going to come across us like this. And we're facing this way right now, but we are actually in its target, in its path. So we should probably reorientate ourselves so we can get in on a kind of northern bearing. So I think we push ourselves over here and then try and like kind of turn around a little bit. And by the time it arrives, we should probably be in the right area. I'm guesstimating this, like I, I, this is not me knowing what I'm doing. Flank ahead. So we're going to go flank speed at 30 kilometers, at 30 uh, meters under, and we're going to kind of recheck. Every time we kind of get to this corner, we'll, we'll recheck. So let's go. So let's see, because we might have to just turn around and then just come back at it if it's getting too far away from us. So let's see what we're going to get. So we'll stop here now and then we'll do another check. Um, and it's currently at 313. So 313 from our position is here. And so we're looking at probably there. Uh, it's 20 to 30 now. So it's actually, yeah, so it's probably about right there. So that's good. I'm completely ignoring this, by the way. I'm just, just to so say, you know, um, so we'll do it again and then we'll do another check right about here and then again so it's now 37 from us we're now on our bearings of 37 so it's there how far away is it it's 10 to 20 so it's literally like right here so we are pretty much going to be slap bang right on it in a minute um so we want to oops come onto our ship here's our ship and we want to kind of target ourselves to arrive kind of about 500 meters away um, so I'm going to assume that when we get to here we'll be pretty much slap bang on it so let's go let's go ahead and right let's go up to press code depth 10 meters. Captain, we're periscope depth. Ready for surface observation. Right. I was hoping the ship would just randomly appear, but it seems we seem to have lost it because dresky has gone to sleep. So let's go back to uh, listening to contacts. Where is it, Dresky? Where is it? There it is. Um, so it is 87. So it's still quite far away, actually. So we were a lot quicker. So let's slow right down. In fact, let's stop. All engines stop. So it was 88 from us. So we know it's like over here. It's there pretty much. And it's between 10 and 20. We can even check that we're kind of right on the right path by doing the cheat method, which is obviously clicking this button and we can see it's over there. So we can kind of, and it's definitely still coming towards us, which it is. So we can kind of wait for a second. Let's kind of wait and see kind of where it comes. Again, this is very cheaty, but I mean, like, this is literally cheating, but it's cool to kind of see it. Because it, it might be that we might have to reverse <laughs> because we're quite close to this now. So it's now about to come into max sight. So if I now go into, uh, go onto here and I get grab our whoever's on duty and go to the tap periscope. We might be able to see him any second now. So let's go into Riker's view. And we're looking at uh, about 88 degrees. So let's go. Um, we'll just obviously change this to this view. And let's up this up. There we go. Let's turn this around to 88 and let's have a little look. We should see a ship on the horizon somewhere. There it is. You see it's now coming towards us. We're kind of in the an okay position right now, but... I feel like it's it's a little bit too I don't know what the word is it's a little bit 
too perpendicular to us. We're, we're showing our body to it rather than it showing uh, like we're showing their body, if you know what I mean. So we need to kind of sort this out. So I think we wait for a little bit longer for them to get a bit closer. And then when they come into clear sight, we can then kind of adjust ourselves. Merchant there we go. All right, so now they're in clear sight, we can go back to our periscope. Position. Obviously, they can now see it. So well there it is. Let's show the enemy what a U-boat can do. So zoom in. There it is. So it's literally coming straight at us. So we're going to have to adjust ourselves here for sure. So what I suggest we do is we go to slow speed. Where is it? It was over... There it is, straight ahead. So I suggest what we do is we we turn ourselves this way and then come in. And we can actually do this pretty easy. Um, we can try to do something like this. So let's see how this goes. We might be moving a little, we might be a little bit too slow to react here. So let's go flying speed. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and turn. And I'm hoping by the time we can kind of, we're going to run like kind of parallel to them. That would be quite nice. So they've now come on board. This is an unknown ship. Still, we haven't actually verified it yet, which is good. Um, but you can see here we're kind of coming in now and I kind of want to kind of run a beam to it. So I'm going to kind of set myself to kind of run this way. And then I'm going to let it overtake us as such. There we go. So now it's coming in. So we've got obviously us um, kind of watching it. So wherever it is, let's find it. Let's zoom out because that's way too hard to see. Uh, it was behind us, wasn't it? So let's just spin right around. And this is going to be on our starboard side, so we need to remember that. Uh, where is it? Where is it? There it is. So we've locked on. What ship is it? It's a... Definitely an Empire Bell. It's got two masts at the front and the back. So that's the Empire Bell. Um, we can also work out its velocity. It's quite difficult from here to do it, but we can try. So if we go now, this won't work. I don't think this is going to work. So I'm going to actually cancel this because in all honesty, this ship is not in the right position yet. But we can work out the distance. Um, it's really easy. We just do this. We get to make sure the flags go underneath. So the very top of the flag goes there. So it's about four kilometers away. So we're happy with that. Attack parameters update. So let's go back distance. into our four, uh, seven, map. Nine, six meters. So we can actually do this. We can work this target out as well. Also, we have it. We hear, we know exactly where the ship is because of this view, which is not too bad. Although it's not actually letting me draw a line. But there we go. So we're going to draw a line from here to here. Yeah, about four kilometers, as you can see, um, which is perfectly fine. We're on the starboard side. We're coming up um, on a stern at the moment. So again, we probably I'm probably going to actually change this. And go ahead. I'm going to get us to come around because I think I wanted to try and get us a bit more of a straight on shot. So I'm going to let us kind of move out and then turn around. And then when it's ready to attack, we can just attack it straight on. So perfect. And then we can turn course. And then we can go back to slow speed. There we go. That's perfect. That is exactly what I want. Right now, we can now sort this out. So let's go into, again, into watch for contacts. Let's bring this up. Right, let's find it again. So it's going to be directly to our left. There it is. There's our British ship. So we can now zoom in and we are now in a much better position. Look at that. That's a better view completely. So let's go to velocity checking and we'll 
start the check-in now. I think it's going to be going around about, like I said, about 10, I reckon. Probably maybe a little bit slower, um, but I think it's probably about 10. So what I'm doing now is I'm literally just going from the front of the bow to the back of the stern, and I'm just, re just recording how basically quick it goes past. Really, I should be doing this in stop, um, but the game has this like weird thing where it can like defy laws of gravity and, and everything. <laughs> so, um, so let's see, let's see. When we get to the end, we click the stop button and it will tell us the speed. So we'll set it 12 kilometers. Okay, so that's a little bit quicker than I expected. So that's fine. So we can lock that speed Update. in. Update. Speed six knots. Right, so the, so the angle on the bow is it's basically it's um, distance from you. So basically, if I click this button, we imagine that zero is the ship and how where are we from the ship? Now we can work this out via this screen. At the moment, we're, we're not 90 right now. We're probably looking at probably 45. Um, so we're probably like look, looking at like this. We're, the, our ship is probably here towards them to them, right? If you know what I mean? Um, we can probably work this out because we know our course. So our course is, um, what is our course right now? Our course is uh, 164. So we know that 164 is 90, as you can see. So we can actually, well, we can also cheat this as well. So that's, I didn't mean to turn. Um, so we can actually work out with the projector as well. So from from here to here, and then from there is, oops, that's not how you do it. So you go from here to here, and then to there, it's so, like, oh, no, that's not, that's also not how you do it. My apologies. <laughs> it's probably better and easier to do it like this. So that's our zero, and their ship is on a, like, 314. 314 to us is what angle? So let's have a look. About 48, there we go. So about 48, so we're 48 from it, which is exactly what I expected. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna maintain these torpedoes. Um, we're gonna get these guy, this guy to do another torpedo. Uh, Joaquin Raigo is gonna do uh, the tap periscope because we're gonna get ourselves organized and then we're gonna get ready for the first fire of the, of the campaign, um, which will be quite nice. So let's just chuck it out. I've right, got to find the ship again. We know it's kind of around here anyway. Uh, It was to our left. There it is. Lock on. Well, I think we're locked. So there it is. Okay, so it's getting quite close now. Um, it's starting to get into our, our zone. So I think if we calculate the angle of bow then as about 48 right now. Uh, yeah, probably about 48. If it'll actually let me calculate it. So 48. I think that's about right. Um, for some reason, the AOB tool isn't actually working. For some reason, it's not letting me calculate it. I don't know why. Oh, it's probably because we're not locked. There we go. So I'd say we're about we're about 48 right now. So we're Attack about. parameters update. Angle. We're going to update four, nine, our bow right. distance. So our distance right now is probably about that, which is about 3,000. Update. Distance, 3904 meters. So what we're gonna do Angle now is- Angle five, zero, right. Everything's set up, our torpedoes are being maintained. So once it gets to 90%, 90 degrees, sorry, not 90%. So once it gets to 90, which is about here, we'll then issue the attack. So we're just going to kind of let that run. We're going to go and just do a few things in the background though. We're going to put the gyro angle receiver to bow. We're going to put the launch leader to the bridge. Um, we don't need to worry about launch modes or salvo types. Um, Our silent approach has escape. been successful. They there don't seem to have detected us yet. Thanks, guys. Um, the tap escape is where it's coming from. This is our torpedo, so you can see that they're currently- Torpedo and tube one maintained. Maintaining them, so you can see. All is good, we're ready to go. We're just waiting for them to arrive on our uh, periscope. So I'm gonna give that a little while and just wait for him to kind of appear in our in our scope. 
Um, we're also not facing 90 degrees anymore. Okay, I think we're literally just about to ready to fire. Um, get the attack periscope going. Get someone on the uh, calculator. Should be fine. Uh, where's the ship? It's literally right in front of us now. Yeah, it's gone slightly past the angle on bow. Update. AOB. One, zero, three, bow right. It looks to me like about 90, so... I reckon we're good to fire here. Update. Angle. Eight, eight, one, two, right. One. We're flooding. Come on in, let's hit this. Let's hit it nice and nice and nicely. Tube one flooded. Uh why is it Update. Come on, angle on bow? Angle nine zero bow right. Fire. Why is it synchronizing? What's wait what's it waiting for? Update. Angle on bow, nine two, bow right. I'm not sure what it's waiting for, to be honest. The angle on power is going to keep changing, yes. Update. Angle on bow. Nine, six, bow right. One, synchronized. Fire. There we go. Right, we're firing. So let's see if we can catch it. Um, I can't see it right now. Where's the torpedo? There it is. So we're over here, you can see the sub. Torpedo's on its way. It's probably gonna be close. I hope I've got it right here. So let's zoom it up a little bit. So we'll just follow it down. Come on. The torpedo has covered half the distance. 40 seconds to impact. Come on. 30 seconds. 20 seconds. Go on. 10 seconds to impact. Go on, right in the middle. Go on, do it right in the middle. Go on, go on. Go on. Oh, yes. See ya. <laughs> yeah, it was a great strike, that was. Really, pretty good, really perfect calculate. We were at 90 degrees, so it had the best opportunity to hit the target. You just can't even see us. Look, we do, you, we're out there somewhere, but you have no idea. So they are definitely going down. And that was a, a really good, really good hit. So let's, let's kind of go and take the spoils of our war, uh, the surface to boat, um, and let's head over to the ship. So let's just head over here. So we'll just surface and we'll head over. So there we go. What we're going to do is, because we, we're going to head over here, we're just going to go pick up the su survivors and... Oh. There you go. So we're just going to go over here and we're going to pick up the survivors and uh, take them back with us. We're going to get some nice reputation for that. There we go. Um, so we probably just want to uh, head over there. Two, two, three. There we go. Let's go grab them. And this is just one of the ways, to, you know, you don't have to do this, but it's just nice, isn't it? To just be nice. <laughs> so what we can do is we can go to... Uh, we can go to the freighter, we can actually go and dive the floor and pick up some stuff. Uh, or we can check the lifeboat. So there's nine here, so we're going to invite them on board. We can have six, so we just take six of them. And that's good. And then what we can do is we can go to... Let's just stop. All engines stop. To the wreckage again. And where there's three suppliers, we can give them supplies. So we can just give them uh, some of our like, can veg or something. Can bread, sorry. So we can give them like, uh, yeah, 10 is fine. That's good. So they'll be happy. Um, and I think, was there another lifeboat? We'll just give them 10 as well. And what we're doing now is we're just basically helping them um, because we're not that bad. We're not, I know, I know we're, pro we're like, uh, do you want to load the cheese? Yeah, why not? We're not bad, you know, obviously this is not, you know, 
it's not a nice country they obviously had a lot of issues during the time but maybe the sailors weren't that bad so turn on the ventilation. Oh, don't turn it on that's what I want there you go deck storage we can uh, take the cheese perfect right okay let's move on um, so I'm going to head off and carry on doing some more um, patrolling and we'll catch up when we come across another ship. We've got another four torpedoes, so we've got plenty of uh, plenty of stuff to do today. So I'm just going to get rid of all of that and that as well. And I'm going to put down here that there was a, uh, a merchant sunk as well. So I'm going to like note where I've where I've done like um, damage. So I'm going to head out over here now, and I'm going to kind of do this sort of course. And we're going to come past the merchant again. Change course. So that's what we're going to do now, and we're going to go back to the dive schedule, and we're going to go and have a look. And I'll be back when hopefully we find something new. Okay, so what happens sometimes in the first mission is you get this side mission, um, and it seems to happen pretty much every time now, which is where we have to go to Bergen and report on air defences. Now, it's kind of annoying because you've got to go all the way over to Bergen and then kind of look at some air defences and then come back, but it is what it is. We've kind of finished our patrol now as such. Um, the patrol carries on, um, but it kind of just kind of gets delayed a little bit. We have to go over to Bergen now. Um, so what we're going to do is what we're going to do is just do what we were doing and head over to Bergen slowly. Change course. Um, it's quite a long way. It's like 500 kilometers. So we're just going to head slowly over there. If we see any ships, we'll sink them on the way. So I will be back in like two minutes when, when we're there. So there we go. So we completed the patrol, but we're still on our way to Bergen. So we've got that uh, ability now to say that we've done our mission. Um, I did see another ship in here. Um, I did try to chase it, um, but it was just moving too quickly for me to catch it. Um, it was moving away, so I couldn't catch it, unfortunately, unless I went to um, to surface and I would have caught it if I surfaced, but then they would have seen me and I don't want that to happen. So it is a shame, but we're kind of, it is what it is. So we're gonna carry on moving to Bergen. I'll catch it when we get to Bergen. All right, so here we go. So we've, we've actually arrived in Bergen. Um, what we've got is we've actually got a ship that was just left Bergen, which was moving away, but we kind of missed it, which is a bit of a shame. But we're now under a periscope and we're going to try and get really close. I want to get us into the bay like this and we're just going to take observations. Um, and it's really simple to do, but it's quite, it's quite interesting. There's a little town there, isn't that nice? Um, it's really simple to do. So you'll see when we get a bit closer, you'll see how it works. So let's get a bit closer. There also might be British ships in the harbour, which we might want to take a pot shot at. So let's go here. There is a freighter. There's two freighters and it's actually a British ship. So that's interesting. So is it daytime yet? It's just turned to daytime. So let's go on for watch contacts. There shouldn't be a British ship in here because they're Norway are neutral. So they shouldn't be getting themselves involved. Uh, so thing is, it's quite difficult to see right now uh, any ships. So currently, how far away are we from this? We're, we're very far away still, I think, uh, to be even actually able to, to mount any sort of attack from this this distance let's just try that again for some reason it's not working for me today but right, I, I want to get this done for the video finishes and then we can go from there so the two and a half kilometers so i reckon what we do is we we pull ourselves over here we take them down then we do the aa guns there's another freighter over here but it's like it's a norwegian freighter merchant ship there's another british freighter here interesting All right, so let's see how far we are from there now. 900 meters, that's fine. Let's just get ourselves in position. We have reached our target. We'll go to a very slow let's speed. They won't even suspect it. It's become quite cloudy all of a sudden by the sounds of it. All right, so let's go and let's do this. So, attack periscope. Alarm! Take your 
position. Stay calm and focused, everyone. We'll get through this. Let's show them what this U-boat crew is made of. We make it out of this one alive. Decks awash. Current depth, 10 meters. Will do, Captain. So we've got a velocity of nothing, so we know that. We know that it's going to be a Empire Tower. Uh, angle on bow is 90. Ish. Distance, oh it's also the other way, 90 left. And the distance is, if I can see. with the wash here. I think that's about right. Merchant ship, 20 degrees. So we're about a thousand meters off. So I think we're ready to fire. Update. Target speed, zero knots. AOB, nine, two left. Distance, one, one, eight, two meters. And to be fair, we can check that as well. So we're about. Torpedo and tube three maintained. I don't know why this isn't working. Report sent. But you can see here, we've, Flood, we're, well, we've flooded the torpedoes. We're in position. We're not too far away from it there. Probably three. thousand meters is probably a little bit too, too close. Um, All engines stop. I think we, we take the shot. I think we just check it one more time just to make sure. Um, we're at zero, it's about 90 degrees, no no velocity, I think we fire. fire. There's the British ship. Where's our torpedo? There it is. Forty seconds to impact. It looks like we're about to smack into it straight away. This is exactly what we want to do, just take down to British ships. We want to check for the AA guns as well soon. Uh, we need to do that at some point. But there we go, we're about to smack into it. Perfect. Ten seconds to impact. Yeah. Fire on board. Beautiful. Alright, we need to Well, we need Scarpa basically. Um so we need to Uh, go to the observation periscope. Mom. Let's see if we can find these AA guns. We're going to struggle. I think we're going to have to go decks of wash here. Well, even more than decks of wash, we're going to have to surface. Spotted. That's fine. We need to get these AA guns now. Don't panic. Focus on your tasks. So Captain, we've risen to the surface. Fort sent. There we go. Alright, let's find these. Ooh. AA guns. So we're looking for There's one. That's too far. Well, there's one. Change course. Uh, there's two. Uh, um, there's three. There's the fourth. Perfect. All right, let's get out of here. 
we could take that other British ship down, but I think we've done we've done what we need to do today. Um, so I'm just going to put it here. Uh, let's just delete all of this. I'm going to put a, one down here saying uh, merchant sunk, so we know exactly where we've sunk these ships. And I think it's probably time we head home. So I'm going to head home back to the back to port. Um, but I think, guys, that's probably going to be it for today in terms of our video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this though. It's been uh, it's been really good fun. Uh, I want to do lots more of this as we go. Uh, I know it's going to be a bit of a pain because my schedule is pretty tight, so I might not get too many videos out too soon. But I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. So let's get the ship out of here. Um, let's reverse it out first. Half a stern. And then let's go. Bearing 60 degrees. Change course. There we go. We're going to get it out of there because otherwise it's going to probably crash, which is probably not what we want. But guys, if you are enjoying this, then don't forget to leave me a like. Um, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of these Ubo videos. And also um, leave me some comments below what you think about this. I know I'm playing on a little bit of a cheaty mode. Um, oh, there's a ship coming right in. Okay, we need to get out of it. Submarine, five degrees. Set a course to these coordinates. So we've got another U-boat. Friendly vessel of a possible target within our vicinity. Another target here. Okay, um, I'm going to deal with this. I'll see you guys later. Bye.